Make sure to stand till the end, there is one secret about that and we will explain how you can actually burn uh, fuses, engine computers and multiple components if done wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a car guys that you need to test camshaft position sensor and your camshaft position sensor instead of having three wires, you have four wires and you wonder how to test it. Stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today. That way you can minimize the chance to burn your electronics, computers and all that stuff. Now, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 uh, free repair videos provided up absolutely free to you why we do that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can guys save a ton of money so let's explain what we have here and how we're going to test that camshaft position sensor that has four wires so let's explain what we have here guys and how we are going to do that now. So we are going to open the hood on that dot challenger and uh, here I want to actually uh, do something uh, something different. We are going to get different voltmeter that's easy to actually read but we want to show you now. If you pay attention guys, okay this is a V6 engine but even if you have a 3, 4 cylinder engine guys, uh, even if you have uh, uh, 6, 8 it will work about the same for cam camshaft position sensors with 4 wires or at least on most of them, not all, some of them will differ and I will always recommend to check the owners, uh, to check actually the service manual, wiring diagram and find out if yours is that way because if it's not you can uh, burn fuses, relays, even the engine computer in some cases. So you need to know what you are doing. But uh, you work on multiple multiple engines even though we are demonstrating on Dodge Chrysler engines so I would recommend to be extremely careful and consider this entertaining video not a how to video. Now for any of you uh, uh, that uh, don't know about that often the four okay uh, the four wire camshaft position sensor will be the one that actually will have two camshaft position sensors integrated in one that's the one we'll be demonstrating about the one that has dual variable timing on two on two camshafts but only one sensor and four wires that means that you have two sensors integrated in one we'll talk about that in a second and i can show you now right here if you come to that camshaft position sensor, okay, that's taken apart, it has two different components, check it out, one right here guys, okay, it's known as camshaft sensor 2 for the intake, camshaft sensor 1 for the exhaust, so uh, uh, before we continue, let me tell you something guys, many of you asked us in the comment section below to share information about the diagnostic tool that we like, and what we uh, what we recommend because there is so many diagnostics on the market but this is a great one works on almost any car you can think of it's amazing too that can pay itself off in one time use so uh, that too can work on almost any car i'll share a link in the description of the video below you can check price features okay all that stuff if you need one guys so due to the fact that these are two camshaft position sensors integrated in one that's why you have four wires uh, you have for one sensor you have one signal wire, 5 volt signal wire, 5 volt uh, voltage supply wire and for the other sensor you have signal wire and voltage supply wire. So practically the voltage will be let's say 5 volts and it will return from the signal 5 volts and when you touch it to the magnet here uh, what will happen at that point uh, it, it will actually guys uh, it will uh, uh, turn off the connection and that signal wire from 5 volts will drop to zero. So if we have here now, okay, the voltmeter set to, uh, to voltmeters, okay, and this is, on, uh, this is on direct current on DC. Uh, let me show you right here now. We have guys, okay, those probes installed, one of them, the black one, okay, is on wire number 4. And the other one is on number three, on the left two wires. So this should correspond to that sensor right here. And if I go inside and turn the ignition switch on without starting the car, okay, do not start the car. I come here, press two times to the run position where the 
Das Schleitz, come on. Can you in a little bit of an accident here? Maybe more than a little bit. Got my cable stuck. So, if we come here now, guys, we want to show you now, okay, about, about that sensor now. So, right here now, okay, the voltmeter, okay, I want to set it that way so we can see it. It's at, uh, okay, pull it away, okay. Let me show you now, okay, let me, let me do it now. So you can understand what we're talking about. So, I cannot really like that. No, leave it like that, perfect, just leave it down. Five volts, guys, five volts. If you come close to the wheel, there is a specific point where the magnet activates zero volts. You pull up, five volts. You go down, zero volts. You pull up, five volts. Now it does it only at certain spot on the wheel. If I come left, five volts, right? Zero, left, five. So you get the idea, guys. Now, if I go ahead, okay, the left sensor is working. If I test the right one, nothing. Check it out, nothing happens, right? I, I actually read this one here. I touched it close. So if I move those wires now from wire three and four to actually wire one and two to the other signal wire and 12 volt supply wire. If you want to buy those probes where you don't cut the cables, I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from. It makes testing really convenient. Okay, give me a second now, okay, to see if I have it pinched or I don't. Okay, obviously not one of them yet. No, let me just position it correctly and we'll continue. So <laughs> we found the problem. I actually had the hold value pressed here. It wasn't the wires. The wires are good. Okay, everything's communicating. Five volts, 4.8, close enough. I need to be, we need to be testing that right sensor now. So if I come close. Okay, can we move the reader a little bit? Okay, perfect. Okay, check it out. Zero, five. Zero, five. Okay. If I press that okay now if you if you hold it like that it can change from zero to five when you pull out so if you go like that now really fast sometimes and pull away it can uh, it can change the values guys but it's important when you touch it to change it and when you remove it to go back to zero okay and that right there you can see that's a good sensor as well if I tried if I tried this sensor here nothing if I try this one, okay, come on, five. I try this, is it, is it nothing. So that's how we test it. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.